हे गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कोड साके आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो वेलकम टू वन मोर ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन जावा सो एज ऑफ नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट क्लासेस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएशन एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन जावा व्हिच इज एग्रीगेशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस सेशन I want to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family, and also please subscribe to our channel Code S Arcade and press the bell icon. If at all you like our videos and you want us to create more videos on such contents and some different programming languages as well, so thank you. Let's get started with today's topic. So as I say, today's topic will be aggregation in Java. it is an object oriented programming concept in java so what basically is aggregation aggregation means if a class has an entity reference it is known as aggregation so if i simply say that aggregation represents has a relationship so consider a simple situation okay uh, let me give you a basic example say we have created a class called employee in the class employee what will be the attributes or properties that an employee object which we create will have the information or the property or the attribute may be the employee id it can be the name of the employee and it can be the email id of the employee right and on top of this the employee object also may have a attribute which is known as address obviously right yeah but just look at this this will be a simple integer value this can be a character even this can be alphanumeric so it will consist of characters but the fourth attribute which is address it will have its own informations let me be precise so that you can get a better idea so address is the property or attribute of an employee object which has its own particular information such as city then we can say state then the country of the origin of that employee and it may have the zip code also and it can have many other informations regarding to the particular address so this is what is called aggregation so in this case whenever we create an employee object it will have the employee id the particular name of the employee the particular email id of that particular employee and then it will have the address but but this address attribute will have some particular informations which is common to each employee so address will have the city of the employee the state of the particular employee the country and it may have the zip code so in such a case what we say is employee has an entity reference which is address so this kind of relationship is known as has a relationship I hope now it is clear to you all. So, in order to brief this quickly, I can say that employee has a address. So this is actually called a as a relationship. Now the question comes: Why do we use aggregation? so why the answer to this is quite simple for code reusability okay in order to reuse our code we use aggregation in java so simple and now the second question which is also very important when use aggregation so this is the second part of it and now 
to answer this question let me tell you something when we want to reuse our code this thing is best achieved by aggregation when there is no is a relationship so what i mean to say is no is a relationship so where do we find is a relationship is a relationship is there in inheritance so inheritance should be used only if the relationship is maintained throughout the lifetime of the objects but rather when there is a has a relationship as you can see here between the employee and the address then in that kind of cases or situations we use the aggregation so has a we will use aggregation so i hope you have grasped the theoretical idea of aggregation now when we move on to the example you will get a clear picture of what i am trying to explain here so let us go to the example quickly so here you can see i have created a class employee in that this is the attribute id which is of the integer data type the name is string the address here belongs to the address class i will get back to it but before that let me show you the other part of the program also so here you can see this is the constructor with the same name of the class so as i told in my earlier lectures or tutorials the constructor created should have the same name as the class so here we have all the attributes this dot id equal to id this dot name equal to name and so on and finally i have created a method display where i am displaying the id and the name and then i am displaying the city the state and the country of that particular employee but in order to access that i have to create another class which is address because this address actually belongs to a different class which is address because as i told in my explanation the address will have particular information which is common to it so the city as you can see here then the state and the country are the common attributes or informations which are there inside any address after that you can see here i have my main function and here i have created two address objects or address variables address 1 and address 2 now this are objects of the address class as you can see here this is the address class now you will be thinking where is my address class i have to create a class right named address as you can see here this is my address class here i have done nothing i have simply assigned my attributes which are city state and country and this is a separate class address and after that this is my constructor which is simply used to instantiate the objects so as i told in my earlier classes a constructor is invoked or called whenever we create a object of a particular class so these are the three attributes city state and country and in my employee class here you can see in my main function or main method what i have done is i have created two objects address 1 and address 2 and using the new keyword i have instantiated the two objects to the address class and you can see the city is lucknow the state is up or uttar pradesh and then the country is india similarly i have done for the same for the address 2 object which is city kanpur state up and country india and after that let me show you what i have done so i have created two employee objects e1 and e2 similarly by using the new keyword and calling my employee class here these are the attributes id name and address so id is c you can see 111 you can give any number it doesn't matter just for the understanding i have taken this example after that you can see here i have sent me this is the name and address 1 so this address 1 is actually a object here which is belonging to the address class here this becomes an attribute now you understand the meaning of aggregation right because as you can see here employee e1 
has an address address one now got it and this address one actually has concrete information which are the city the state and the country so whenever we have uh, has a relationship between two entities in that kind of cases we use aggregation in java and similarly what i've done is i created the second employee by using the new keyword and then what i've done is i've assigned the id the name aaron and then the address 2 this address 2 is an attribute but it is also a object of the class address which has the three attributes city state and country so now it is perfect right i hope you have understood now after that what i have done is i have used my display method which is inside my class employee and i have called the methods using my employee one and employee two objects so now if i run this my output should be like this as you can see here let me show you this thing first of all it will print id plus name so 111 plus sammy or space sammy to be precise and then in the second print statement it will print so address dot city so for the first case it will be Lucknow and then up and then india and for the other one it will be kanpur then up then india so let me just run this so can so that i can show you the output so right click run employee dot main so here it is as you can see here 111 this is the employee id and this is the name sammy and for the particular e1 object we are getting the city the state and the country similarly for the employee 2 we are getting the employee id the name and then we are getting the city the state and the country kanpur up india so this is how we work with aggregation in java and this is a very important concept in object oriented programming so as I told earlier, let me just give you an overview of the same topic. Aggregation is used only when we have a has a relationship between two entities. Entities, I mean that suppose an employee will have similar attributes or different attributes. We can assign any attributes. Let me say, as I told in my current example only, it can be ID, the name, and then it can be the address but address itself has different information such as the city the state the country the zip code etc so that thing can be implemented with the help of aggregation so as i told you the advantage is aggregation is used for code reusability and in case of inheritance it is a is a relationship then we use inheritance but in case of has a relationship we use the aggregation in java oops so i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts regarding this please comment your doubts in the comment section i will be glad to clarify all your doubts and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our new uploads thank you so this is Saurabh signing off have a nice day and happy learning